It's been a crazy roller coaster ride this winter. We have had a lot of rain and a lot of cold weather. As a matter of fact, here in my Modesto, California Zone 9B garden, we are pretty much below normal. Uh, we are in March and we have yet to see a 70 degree day. I think we got up to 69 one time, but our average high is 70 degrees today and here we are in the 50s. But one of the questions that I get asked the most this time of year is, number one, when do you start fertilizing your trees? Uh, especially my avocado trees. Here we are, you know, we're getting a lot of rain and it's cold, but people want to know when I start off fertilizing my avocado trees. And also, when do I start watering once the, the, uh, the rain stops? We're gonna take a look at that, but first, if you like this channel, if you like growing exotic tropical fruit trees in marginal climates, click the like, subscribe button, notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. So the question that's on everybody's mind is, here we are in March and should I fertilize? And the answer is yes. Uh, we're in Northern California, Zone 9B, and the, um, the ground is just starting to warm up. And uh, the trees, uh, the avocado trees, let me take a look at my, uh, my multi-graft and we'll see that even though, unlike Southern California, you can see that we have not gotten flowers yet. Normally we would be flowering this time of year in our avocados. But uh, yeah, all of my avocado varieties are just just nowhere near let me see if you can see that nowhere near flowering i would say they got about two weeks of warm weather before we're gonna start flowering and it's just crazy but should i fertilize well yeah you should because they are in a state of growth it's slow as it may seem we are in a state of growth and that's when i like to fertilize my uh, avocado trees. Now I use Hollytone uh, Evergreen Organic Fertilizer. I, I For the first time this year, this has been uh, the first time that I'm gonna do it all year long. I've used a number of different varieties of orga fertilizer, organic and not, and I think that I've gotten best results with Hollytone Organic Evergreen Fertilizer. And it's very inexpensive. You find it in, the, in Lowe's big box stores for very inexpensive if you buy the big bag. So anyway, here's the Holly Tone that I use. A lot of people want to see the exact package that it comes in. Now this is a small bag. This is eight pounds. And I'm not being sponsored by this company, Espoma. But it is a very good product for those of you that want to grow organically. Uh, I try to do it as much as possible because avocados are very sensitive to... Um, petroleum based um, I believe it's petroleum petrochemicals and this is what the holly tone looks like it's a little funky smelling I think it has like chicken manure and stuff like that but what what I do is anymore I do not uh, throw it a, real close to the trunk I throw it out in the, in the canopy about I probably put probably about four pounds of it on this tree and this tree is probably uh, 15 feet tall it'll probably double by the end of the fall so keep watching my videos and we'll see if i'm not right but anyway um yeah holly tone i put about four pounds sprinkle it in the uh in the in, i sprinkle it in the grass because it's my trees planted in in the lawn but i water it in very well uh, i'll be watering um I won't be watering for a while because we've been quite rainy. Uh, but once we go about two weeks without getting any rain, that's when I start to water. My name is Jeff. If you like this channel, hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day.